Hey, it's Eric with The Future Mill. You are probably wondering what a stock market halt is. It's all over the news today. The stock market's actually stopped for a brief period of time. I wanna go into a little bit more detail about what it is and why it is in place. Let's do this. The stock market literally stopped trading today. They hit a button, dink, and it was done. They stopped trading for a period of time, actually 15 minutes to be exact. Now, I don't know if they actually pushed a button to do this or how exactly it works, but what they call it is a circuit breaker. So it's kind of like the wiring in your house. You plug up to an outlet and maybe it shorts out. Well, if it shorts out, the breaker flips and it shuts everything off and you have to figure out what's going on. The same concept happens here, except for they flip the breaker, it shuts it off to prevent panic sell-offs. You see in 1987, it was called Black Monday. The market started to sell off and continued and continued and continued until finally they didn't know what to do. It was just this major crash of the stock market, all that happened in one day, and they didn't have anything to prevent that. Then in 2010, they actually put in what was the stock market halts or the circuit breakers into the market, but it didn't trigger as well as it should have. And that's where we had what was called the flash crash in 2010. So then now they've started to work on perfecting this a bit more, and we saw it happen today. The stock market opened 7% down. They hit the panic button to stop everything from trading. This occurred for 15 minutes. The next one, if it continues to go down, happens at 13% down, and it will again stop the market from trading for 15 minutes. Then from there, if panic continues and the market goes down 20% or more, they will stop trading for the entire day. You see, I talked about this in another video. Anytime the market goes down 10 to 20%, it's called a market correction. Or if the market goes down 20% or more, this is called a bear market. Well, what we could see is if the market continued to go down, literally a bear market happened in one day, and that is not what anyone wants to see. Now, this whole thing here is mainly stemming from the coronavirus and the effects that it could have on the economy. Now, the problem with this though, is that the news is reporting all these things, but there's not actual numbers that are coming out showing that corporate earnings are dropping as of yet. Now, do we think it could? Absolutely, because China's not shipping things overseas to the United States. I actually went to buy some floors over the weekend for a house I'm building, and the company told me that they are not buying any tile flooring from Italy currently because of the concerns with the coronavirus. So what that means is imports, exports, everything's going to be messed up and everybody is in a panic. But we don't know the complete numbers yet, so we don't need to go into an extreme panic. We don't know if the economy is going to slow down a bit, though that is what is speculated at this point, but how much is the question. But instead, people are on the panic button. They're literally jumping in, hitting sell-off. We also have robo-advisors and algorithms that are jumping out of the market. And what Warren Buffett says is to be greedy when others are fearful. So maybe we need to listen to one of the most successful, if not the most successful investor of all time, and make sure that we aren't trying to panic in these moments, and instead actually take on opportunities. This is a great opportunity if you have cash to jump into the market, because yes, it could get a little worse before it gets better, but in the end, you could be buying stocks at a significant discount from where they were just two weeks ago. So make sure that you're not hitting the panic button. If you have any questions or if you want to get started investing, reach out, go to thefuturemill.com, click get started, book a call, we'll be happy to help you. As always, thank you so much for watching.